fuck yes on the last act. Fucking how exciting is that shit? Yeah, fuck yeah. It's good to be here in New Zealand because it's too hot in Australia. I went out the other day, a little ginger kid walked into the sun and just fucking <laughs> burst into flames. <laughs> so it's good to be here. Fuck yes. Now, I know it's very fashionable to fucking make fun of Jetstar as an airline, but I gotta say, I don't think it's their fault, right? I think they're fine. I think the problem with Jetstar is the fucking idiots who fly on it, right? Every time a Jetstar flight is late, it's not their fault, it's because some weird motherfucker had a 45 minute argument with a lady at the door about, why can't I bring my lawnmower on as carry on luggage? Because <laughs> it's made of blades and petrol, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and fuck, seats are given letters and numbers, so if you know the alphabet and you can count, you can find your fucking seat. And then you go to sit in your window seat, there's some gormless idiot grinning back at you going, I thought C was the window seat. And you're like, yeah, of course, because A and B's on the fucking wing, isn't it, you dumb fuck? <laughs> and I think the big problem is we've got too much occupational health and safety keeping some of these fucking idiots alive. <laughs> ah. Don't clap, you're just keeping yourselves here longer. But fuck, I went to a building I hadn't been to before the other day, and they said, oh, you haven't been here before. You're gonna need a fire safety demonstration. And I said, no, I won't. <laughs> and I said, why not? I was like, how about this? If it catches on fire, I'll fucking leave. <laughs> I feel like anyone who sits in a burning building and goes, oh, well, I wasn't given clear instructions. Just fucking let them go. <laughs> let them go. They're not gonna invent anything. They're not gonna cure anything. Just fucking let them go. <laughs> And why do they have evacuation assembly points? Fuck, from my experience, standing out the front of a burning building makes you look guilty as fuck. <laughs> and what are you supposed to do there? Reminisce? <laughs> hey, do you remember when your family was alive? Yeah, five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> then you cut to another country like Thailand where they use fucking bamboo for scaffolding. Someone dies from being a fucking idiot in Thailand, they go, oh, well, he was a fucking idiot, wasn't he? <laughs> Someone dies from being a fucking idiot over here, they go, oh, no, oh, no. We've lost a fucking idiot. <laughs> Where will we find another fucking idiot? <laughs> oh, there's a Jetstar flight landing soon, so. <laughs> now, is it just me or does Christmas need to settle the fuck down? Right. I know a lot of people don't like Halloween, but as far as I'm concerned, it's the only thing stopping shopping centres from playing Christmas carols in fucking August. <laughs> and I don't like Christmas carols. They jingle and they jangle and we're dashing through the snow. Oh, are we? Then why am I ball sweaty? <laughs> I think hearing Christmas carols too early in the year should be a legal defence for assault or homicide. You'd be in court and the judge is like, what happened, mate? And you go, well, I was in the warehouse. I was buying a seven pack of socks. <laughs> All of a sudden, the little drummer boy came on, the red mist descended and fucking parumpa pum pum. <laughs> and then the judge would say, when was this, mate? And you're like, the fucking second of November. He'd go, you've been through enough. There's a business, mate. Just get out of here. Don't even worry about it, champ. It's all good. Oh, what a stupid song that is too, The Little Drummer Boy. Oh, we've just had a baby in a donkey shed. How should we get it to sleep? Should we sing it a lullaby or get that fucking eight-year-old outside to do a drum solo? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that other Christmas song, All I Want For Christmas Is My Two Front Teeth, is the sequel from when he wanted in, rat-tat-tatting away, and someone just went, fuck off, mate. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucking baby sleeping in here, you idiot. And then, you know, Christmas is barely over. It's the 2nd of January. And bloody Countdown and Pack and Save have started selling fucking hot cross buns already. <laughs> How insensitive. Bloody baby Jesus's placenta's not even cold yet. <laughs> You've already started selling his death pastries. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. You guys have been a great audience. Fucking good on you, too.